So if you've been reading my newsletter at all, you know that I'm a big fan of chat PRD. I've been using it to edit and create PRD examples for you guys in this newsletter. So I'm extremely excited to have Elisa and Claire here today. Welcome guys. Thank you so much for making the time. For people who don't know, what is chat PRD? So chat PRD, um, other than the AI replica of myself, uh, is a on-demand chief product officer that uses AI to help you do your prep work. And you were recently on Lenny's podcast, I believe, where you talked a little bit about how it's kind of like a mega prompt almost yeah. on top of open AI's APIs. So how did you really zone in on this actually potentially being a... Yeah, so I built it primarily for myself. You know, as I say many times, she may just be a prompt, but she's mine and she's a good one. Um, but I, I really built it to help myself. So I, even though I'm a chief product officer, I run these very large product and engineering organizations. I still chip in and build products and write specs and, um, contribute individual work to the product team. And so I often, um, am asked or was tasked with building some of the more technical or platform oriented PRDs for products at my previous company because I had that kind of hybrid engineering product mindset. And so I was using ChatGPT because I have many things, but time is not one of them. And so anything that can take time um, and give it back to me is really useful. And so I was using ChatGPT to generate PRDs and like, you know, first pass, you use these things. It's it's okay. It's not great. And it's certainly not in the way I like to write things. It's certainly not in the way I like to read things from a product perspective. So I spent a lot of time tuning my own um, prompt and model to get um, to get the right outputs pretty quickly because I want to save time. And when the GPT store went out, I bundled it in the GPT store and I just shot it to the PMs on my team. And I was like, you all have been asking how I've been able to do this. And here you can just use this. And they all loved it. And then um, over a holiday break, you know, I couldn't make any money off the GPT store. So I was like, oh, we'll just like for fun, we'll put a landing page in front of it. And that started to work and people were starting to sign up kind of through the landing page. And then finally I was like, I'll just make an app um, and we'll see what happens. And people really started using it and paying. And now we have um, over 10,000 users. It's a real thing. And so it was that perfect, I think it's like, a, it's, it's going to be my go-to MVP story from here on out. You know, we all love that. Like, how do you pick an MVT? And this was, this was this in real life. So it was really useful to me, useful to inner circle, put it out there. And then for me, I'm commercially oriented. It doesn't matter if it doesn't sell. So force people to put in a credit card and that's where the rubber hits the road. Very that cool. That just kind of speaks for itself. Like the first time I tried it, I was just kind of mind blown because I had played with ChatGPT as we all have, and the the output I'd get it it didn't sound like I would ever write it right. Like it sounded very forced, very formal. Um, and then I just put in a super simple prompt into ChatPRD and was just floored with how strong the output was, how well it was written, all the considerations in there. And so, yeah, it, it just like has so much value and it is an MVP story. There's so much more that could be added, but for the early users, it did, it doesn't matter because the value is there already. Yeah. And then in the past couple of months, we've been layering on a lot more features. So owning the app means that we can add, go way beyond the the chat and the prompt. So now we have customization options where, you know, ChatPRD can learn about you and your role and your product and really um, augment its output with knowledge about you. We have custom templates. So if you have a specific template that you want to use for a PRD or other document, you can put that in. And then we have things like doc mode that allow you to um, go beyond the chat and really actually operate um, with the content as a document. And we've got more and more and more uh, on the roadmap as every good product leader will say. Um, and so I just think there's a lot now built in the core app that you can't get out of the GPT, that certainly you can't get out of the GPT, um, chat GPT by itself. And we're really proud of, you know, how close we're staying to our customers, which are PMs and how useful um, each feature we add ends up being. Yeah, and, one of my favorite features that you guys recently launched was kind of bring your own template, which yeah. I just think is 
really, really empowering as a PM because a lot of times you get handed this template and it almost like puts you in a box because then you think like to fill out this template, I need to have a two hour deep work block. When am I even going to find that? I guess I'm staying up tonight, but chat PRD really eliminates that by getting you started. Um, how did you like, uh, how does that, how did you come up? to this feature and is do you feel are a lot of people using that yeah a lot of people are using it so the out of the box uh chat prd template is like the nice fat useful middle of what i think is a pretty serviceable prd for most people so if you're going zero to one you maybe don't know what a prd is or you just like want the basics of the basics to start off of I think the out of the box template really makes sense. It's something that I use and, and find pretty useful. I still use the out of the box template, of course, because it's fine. Um, but what I found is people were then following up and saying, oh, I need you to add this section or I need you to add that section or we do user stories this way um, or we always have to put this part in. And so it really came out of customer demand saying, hey, I'd love to customize. So I don't always have to do that follow up prompting of no, I need this section or that section. Um, and so it's great because, yeah, you're right. You walk into every company and every company has this like make a copy PRD template um, that that PMs use. And then that's the framework for scaffolding things out. Um, we had this at my previous company. And what I was doing is I was pasting that template in saying like, this is my template and then doing all the prompting and then being like, this is the product I want. And then it would take some time to get it to kind of massage into that. And so that's absolutely like one of the primary use cases and it's been a really popular feature. Yeah, I use it all the time. So I actually just plug in like my template and then I'll use that. So recently I wrote a piece on uh, work products and mm -hmm. I often suggest like for people, if they want to really break into a role, they really care, like put in an hour or two for a work product, but yep. you can make such a better work product if you use ChatBRD because it creates the scaffolding for you and then you can actually enhance whatever chat GPT took about wrong. And one of the most surprising things for me about that though, is that if you put in your template mm -hmm. um, into regular chat GPT, so I tried like side-by-side -side comparisons, yeah. my own mega prompt versus chat PRD. Chat yeah. PRD is so much better at sounding like a PM. Can you talk a little <laughs> bit about how yeah. you've really iterated on that, made it realistic too? Like it's not, every feature isn't trying to lead to a 20% increase in revenue like chat gpt's yeah, features yeah. um i i just think this is so funny because elisa you should say how we got connected and like the one quote that i yeah. keyed off of when the you one quote me. so i'm gonna kick this one to you yeah um i've yeah i found chat prd and made a youtube video about it because i was so excited and the one quote claire pulled out was weirdly human sounding because i just like every every output i get from chat gpt i'm just like this is not how a human talks. <laughs> this just does not sound like I could have written it. And then I was I was stunned when I saw the output from Chat Chat PRD because I was like, this is this is me. This is how I would write this. This sounds totally like normal for a PM to say. Yeah. So I I mean that's where I put a lot of 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 work in is the tone of voice, the communication style, the what you do and don't do. Um, if you know me or follow me on Twitter or X, you will appreciate the no frameworks, exclamation, exclamation, exclamation um, that I prompt it with because I just want it to be practical. It's got to be this practical, direct. I'm very practical. I'm very direct. Um, I say what the thing is. I don't say anything more than that. And so um, I put a lot of effort and energy into getting this thing to write and communicate like I write and communicate. So if you want to know what it's like to work with Claire, you you've got the AI uh, chat bot that gives you that experience, but I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that came through because it's something I actually worked really hard on. Yeah, for everybody watching, I think that's like the aha moment. You get your three free prompts, so do try it, and that's I think where you'll realize like okay, my chat GPT, whatever I've done, and I've tried my best also to create like my own little mega prompt that I put in my customization, but it just doesn't sound like me at all. Yep. So I'm like more of a Claude Opus user, actually, kind of abandoned yep. chat GPT with the exception of chat PRD. So it's pretty phenomenal. Good. Well, I mean, I think Claude's got some interesting writing models. Um, so we may at some point experiment in the future with different models. We've just gotten great performance out of what we've done now. Cool. And are you guys using chat GPT 4.0 like that model? 4.0. Um, we are using 4.0. 
it's very fast, which is good. And it's also solved some of our advanced features. Um, you know, as a bleeding edge adopter of some of these products, we actually push the edge of how some of OpenAI's APIs can function. It's very fun to say, like, I think I, I went further than you would, were expecting on how people use this product. And I actually got to talk to some of the OpenAI engineers and they're like, oh, it's not quite good at that yet. And so um, with 4.0 though, it's it's gotten better at a couple of things that are really important to us. And so I think we've experienced uh, in the last month, really uptick in quality and satisfaction and speed. For sure. Awesome. I think my future request for you guys will be uh, really to help allow me to build the knowledge base on it. Cause yeah. that's what I love about it with the template feature. It's like, I want to be able to just share, like, these are my OKRs for the quarter. Mm -hmm. These are the experiments that we failed at <laughs> so yeah. that it can kind of bring that to each PRD. <laughs> yep. Yep. So knowledge base is definitely on the list. We were actually just talking about it this morning and seeing if we could get a V1 up in the next week, at the very least, start to ingest data, and then we can start to um, use it in some of the responses. But we've heard that a lot. And it's, I want, you know, I'm a PM. I want people to know that I'm working on this so other people in my company don't work on it or they don't build something in opposition. I wanted to have a little bit more context about my goals and my company, what I've tried and what I haven't tried. And then I think customer research is the third component of what I think would be really valuable from a knowledge-based perspective. Awesome. And based on your pace of shipping, I'm guessing those will be out by next month. So oh, you, sorry you for everybody who this that. video is outdated. <laughs> I for. appreciate that. Yeah, I <laughs> ship every weekend. So stay Amazing. Well, Thanks for this brief intro into chat PRD for everybody. Um, yeah, I think if you want to learn more uh, in the newsletter deep dive, Claire, Elisa, and I go through a bunch of tips to like actually prompting chat PRD, which might be a little bit different than prompting chat GPT. So mm -hmm. look forward to that. And yeah, thanks guys. Thank you, Thank you so much.